Hi, this is Minham from the Value Investing How To channel. Thank you for watching this video. And in this video, I'm sharing the concept of income support. Okay. You sometimes you when you read your REITs financial report, you may not see this item because they classify alternatively. Name alternatively. As other income so what's the significance what's significant about this item other income primarily my whole investment portfolio has uh, two REITs Suntech and Capital Commercial Trust and of and I took notice of this particular item especially when there are new REITs or when REIT manager inject new buildings into the existing REIT. How does this income support come about? It's probably when the sponsor decides to say, hey, I wish to inject this particular building. But in exchange, the REIT manager could say, okay, to ensure that there is rental income coming or being extracted from this building, they will require an income support. So the final details, you might need to check with your REIT manager, but how significant, on the other hand, is it to us as unit holders? It's a common concept. So uh, revenue of a REIT going up, when a REIT increases, so does our dividends. So in this example, I've used Suntech as an example. Okay. So this is their latest quarterly report based on uh, the day of recording, 13 November 216. And you will see that previously in the previous quarter there was this uh, income support, but now in the new financial year there isn't. So we look at this particular item E here. Okay, so just remember, uh, they may not write income support, so you have to look line by line, item by item in the financial report. And we want to ensure that it is not significant. Why? Because it's, it's straightforward. When income support ends and is significant, the revenue of a REIT goes down, so does your distributions. So, we'll look at that item more in details so for the sun tag you will see that the income support was in relation to the to the mbfc properties here okay and this income support ended in fourth quarter 215 just like what i mentioned when income support ends and significant revenue of rate goes down so does your distributions so the next round when you analyze your reach report just look up for this item or perhaps whether does this item even exist in the financial report uh, in my own opinion uh, capable read managers generate more distributions with realistic income support what do I, what do I mean by realistic is the price per square foot from the income support from the building should almost be in tandem with the price per square foot from the surrounding buildings near that building so that when the income support ends and the tenancy ends when the REIT manager renews the lease there is a big drastic difference between the rental rates so I hope uh, this video has given you some insights regarding this particular item called income support and this is Minan from Valley Investing How To signing off thank you